Yeah, you know, uh, there's this, uh, the, the what and how and the why, uh, different ladders that people describe or the three whys yeah. uh, in terms of inquiry. Hmm? And I say, okay, we look at data and so there is a lot of questions about the data. Hmm? Where's the data? Hmm? How does the data add up? So you go down that path about the data and and uh, trying to see reality through reorganizing uh, and adding up or subtracting in the data itself. And you can go down that path also into the logic behind in the data itself. Right. Yeah, so I mean, this weight will lead to that. So it comes to the next level of maths, which is not just addition and subtractions, but you go to more, you know, calculus maths. And so there's a whole way of thinking about how to make sense of the data. And I say, fine. Now the data is uh, being interpreted by a mind. The data also is collected by people who felt that that was good data to get. So there was a mind which chose what data to select. So there are minds here. So there's a reasoning in the mind about why this is important data. So I learned to switch myself off the deductive track pretty quickly and to ask, why do you think one should be looking at this data? Hmm? And then I would notice quite often that the why that person thinks this data is important is the reason probably I asked the question because I think it's what's the point of this data? I don't think this data is important, but this person is you know, presenting all this stuff. Mm. Why do you think it's important? So I'm learning about another person's way of thinking and what another person gives value to, which apparently is not what I give value to. It's not my way of thinking. Right. So this is how I'm people not like us, as I say, I'm listening to someone who's not like me. Now, in this situation, both of us could be, let's say, in BCG or in, in the world of business and BCG, there are people like us. Right. So we have a way of thinking and things we value and the data that we consider important, which is similar. And then you come to people who we consider, uh, uh, you know, ill-educated, right, or people who are rabid in their thinking. Hmm? They're not like us, right. but they are human beings and they, many of them got their PhDs if you want to count that as, as also that they have education or they've been through life very successfully in some field. So, but they value different things and they think about the world in a different way. So then I have to ask them uh, about more questions about how they came to believe that these things are important. So learning about them, hmm? their journey, how they developed their values and their mental frames. And so that's how then I'm learning at even deeper levels, <laughs> about even the formation of my own values. I mean, how did my values form? Right. 